Hi everyone, so I'm back with another great off-campus opportunity for you guys and this one is with Goldman Sachs. So Goldman Sachs Summer Analyst Hiring Program has begun and this is a great opportunity for anyone who wants a job with Goldman Sachs which is one of the top fintech companies with a decent a banging pay, right? The stipend is 1 lakhs per month around and the conversion rate is also pretty good and once you get selected the CTC is 32 LPA. So the pay is amazing and the registrations are open. So if you haven't already, go to the link in the description and make sure that you register for it right away. The link to registration and eligibility, everything will be in the description box. And now let me tell you more about the hiring process and how you can easily clear it. Now the first round is resume shortlisting. This is a very important round. Make sure that you don't get rejected in here. So your resume needs to be top notch. Make sure that you build your resume on a good platform, a professional platform like Overleaf. Don't use any designer platform like Canva or Photor or something like that. Your resume should be top notch. I highly suggest using Overleaf and I'll give some templates in the description box as well. You can pick whatever template you like from there. Now, the most important thing in your resume is your ATS score. So you need to make sure that your ATS score is above 80. I will suggest above 90 even, but at the bare minimum, it should be above 80. Make sure you highlight your coding profiles. Make sure you highlight your ratings. If you have good ratings, make sure it is properly updated. You have the latest projects. You have the latest experience on there. Okay. Your resume is very, very important. If you have a good CGPA, highlight it as well. All right. And if you're not confident enough in your resume, you can get it reviewed by some mentor or any senior as well. Even I do resume reviews. But at the bare minimum, make sure that you have the latest stuff in there. Make sure the ATS is above 80 and make sure that you highlight your coding profiles. These are the most important thing. Now, once we finish our resume shortlisting, we come into the aptitude round. And let me tell you, aptitude of Goldman Sachs is pretty difficult. So I don't want to scare you, but it is of a pretty good level. So you cannot be slacking off an aptitude. You have to focus well on aptitude. You have to make sure that you don't lag behind in aptitude. All right. So there's going to be negative marking. You're going to have a scheme of plus five and minus two. You're going to have a total of 75 questions and it is going to be of a decent level. Right. But worry not. I'm going to tell you what you can do to master aptitude because I've already made multiple, multiple videos on aptitude. I've trained multiple students to clear all their aptitude rounds. You're going to do it with ease. So what do you need to focus on? The topics that Goldman Sachs is famous for or the subject that Goldman Sachs is famous for is quant. Okay. So quant, numerical, all the mathematical things Goldman Sachs focuses a lot on. The logical abstract reasoning is not going to be that difficult, but the quant part of it is going to be a bit more difficult, right? So the first thing that you need to do is you need to do a lot of PYQs, previous year questions. So you'll find the link in the description box of previous year analyst hiring program questions. And apart from that, you need to practice on two websites. First is indiabigs.com. I have repeatedly mentioned in all of my videos, indiabigs.com is probably the best website for practicing aptitude. It is free of cost. Go there, start topic by topic and try to solve as many problems as you can. There's no magic number. Just try to do as many as you can till you're comfortable. All right. So focus more on quant, less on the reasoning and verbal side of it, more on quant. All right. Now, after you focus on indiabigs.com, after you practice on indiabigs.com, you can go to testbook. So there's a website testbook.com. By the way, all the resources are in the description box. You don't need to worry about anything. So go to testbook.com. There you'll have aptitude test, aptitude rounds, and you can give some mock aptitude rounds on there for free. Apart from that, you have some YouTube channels as, as well that have great aptitude lectures. One of them is online study for you. You can refer to that as well. And another website is Prep Insta. So Prep Insta also has PYQs and they have some really good problem sets as well. So make sure that you use all of these resources and make sure that you're able to perform well in aptitude. Okay. You need to be good with the formulas. You need to be good with the tricks and you need to be on your toes. Now I've also made multiple other videos about how you can master aptitude. So you can watch that as well. I'll give a link to them in the description as well. Okay. But focus well on aptitude. Now, after we go through aptitude, it is a bit relaxed. The next part is pre-placement talk and coursework. So you should focus here as well. Don't think that this is going to be easy or this is not going to be anything 
too much of a hassle you need to be focused here as well all right so your coursework will be assigned to you you'll be giving a time of around one month you'll be given a pre-placement talk make sure you attend it make sure you focus on what the people are saying and again make sure you don't lack slack off here as well now after this you have the coding round again coding round is going to be a bit difficult goldman sachs is known for a difficult coding test right so it is going to be around medium hard and the topics are going to be the important topics are going to be of graph you can expect problems from graphs you can expect problems from trees you can expect some problem from dp there's a chance Apart from that, you need to be good with array concepts, you need to be good with array algorithms, you need to be good with string, and you need to be good with some string algorithms, and all of the important topics will be in the description box. Now, how do you practice? That is the main question. So, first things first, if you haven't already, start doing Strava Sheet. Strava Sheet is pretty good and probably enough to crack any company's coding round or interview, right? So, start doing Strava Sheet, it is extremely important. Along with that, you need to start giving lead code contest because obviously the coding test is going to be in a certain time limit. So you need to have time bounded practice. Start giving lead code contest. Start trying to be faster with your implementation. Okay, a lot of times I've seen what happens to people in such rounds, coding rounds, is they come up with the solution, but they are not able to implement it in time. Make sure you're fast with your implementation. Give contest, try to do problems in a time bounded manner. Try to focus more on medium hard problems. Try to focus on the topics that I have mentioned in the description. All right. And apart from that, I've also made an interview experience with Goldman Sachs with Yati, who last year cracked the summer analyst hiring program. Make sure that you watch that video as well. And again, I'll give more interview experiences in the description box also. So coding round, focus on lead code, focus on medium to hard problem, do strive sheet and do previous year coding problems. Previous year coding problems, again, you'll find in the description box. Apart from that, if you feel like you need more practice, then you can even give rounds on code forces. You can try to give code forces div two and div three round. In div two round, try to solve the first three to four problems. In div three round, try to solve the first four to five problems. All right, with this, your coding round will be pretty much sorted now once you're cleared with the online coding round you're one more step closer to your dream role in goldman sachs the only hurdle between you and your role is now technical interviews so technical interviews are not going to be as difficult you just need to know how to be in a technical interview right so the first thing you need to be very confident you need to have a smile on your face and you need to sit calmly a lot of people get nervous in interviews and then they mess it up now what will be the focus in the technical interviews? Well, again, it can depend on the interview. It can go anywhere, basically. But the important things that generally they ask, you can expect DSA. So you can expect a lead code medium type of DSA problem. They won't ask lead code hard in the interview, but they can easily go till medium or medium hard in the interview. And they'll try to have some conceptual problem, conceptual DSA problem in the interview. Apart from that, you can have some CS fundamental concepts. So make sure that you revise CS fundamental concepts, your OS concepts, your CN concepts. And for this, you can refer last minute GFG notes, okay? Or you can watch Gate Smasher's videos to basically prepare for CS fundamentals. It will help you in your other interviews as well, right? Apart from that, you need to make sure that you know everything in your resume because 110% they will ask you questions from your resume. What projects did you do? Why did you do them? Why did you use this tech stack? Why not this tech stack? Why this database? Why not this database? They'll be asking you all sort of questions about this, right? So whenever the discussion is on your project, make sure that you lead the discussion. Tell them about your project with passion, explain the features, explain how you've done everything, and make sure that you have a healthy and a hearty conversation with your interviewer. Because a lot of times that's all it takes to impress your interviewer, right? And even if you get stuck in the interview, do not panic. Try to do your best, remain calm, and definitely the interviewer will also give you a little nudge in the right direction. All right. The 50% of clearing technical interviews or even any interview is the mindset. Rest is the skills. A good majority of it is the mindset that you have. So technical interviews is the last part. After that, you will be able to get selected. You'll see the mail for selection. And again, like I said, the scope for getting a PPO in Goldman Sachs is pretty amazing and you can easily get 32 LPA plus CTC right off the start of your career as a fresher. 
okay so that's pretty much it my last tips for you guys will be practice hard try to give all the remaining time that you have to this work hard and focus on aptitude and focus on dsa and make sure that you give all your rounds with confidence so yeah that's pretty much it let me know how it goes let me know how you're practicing and let me know if i can help you in any way and don't forget to register